Hello, welcome back. I am Lady T and this is the Push Channel where we pray until something happens. We believe in the power of prayer. We know not only does God hear, but I am so thankful that he answers. I want to welcome you back to another one of our Touching Tuesday segments. And today I want to talk to you about how long will you mourn? to 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 1 and that scripture says the Lord said to Samuel how long will you mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as king over Israel fill your horn with all and be on your way I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem I have chosen one of his sons to be king so this is where Saul has repeatedly he was anointed to be king but he had repeatedly not followed God's instructions started trying to do things his own way and God had enough and he had said that he wasn't going to be king anymore and he announced that to Samuel and Samuel was close to Saul so he did not want to see him no longer as king but God was like his time is up and he had finally, he was getting enough with Samuel. He was like, how long will you mourn? So today what I want to talk about is sometimes there are things that God has says enough is enough. I need you to release it and I need you to be on your way. Like that's what he told um, Samuel. He told him to, um, how long will you mourn? And he told him to go ahead, fill that, fill that horn up with all and be on your way. Be on your way to go anoint the next king, which we know is going to be David. What is it that's going on in your life that you're just holding on to it for too long and God is saying, release it and be on your way? Sometimes it could be the loss of a relationship. Sometimes when there's a loss of a relationship, we don't know when to release it and be on our way. That we will try to hold on to it or stay in something longer than God intends us to do. Sometimes it could be the loss of a job and we're still mourning for that job, not realizing God has something better for you. If he closes one door, he closes it because he has the ability to open the next door. Um, we have to trust God because even in this season, with everything that's going on, God is still so faithful and he's, he is doing a new thing. In Isaiah 43, 19, it says, see, I am doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So he is doing a new thing, but sometimes we are blocking the new thing because we keep trying to hold on to the old thing. So some other things that you may be holding on to, it could be material things that God is saying, let it go. It is, but it's a material thing that you may have lost your home last year with the whole economic crisis and you're, and you're just in mourning about that. But God is doing a new thing and he is able to restore you with better than you had before. So you have to continue to walk on your faith. Don't give up. And we cannot mourn like we are hopeless. Like they're like we don't can't believe in tomorrow. Like we're putting limits on God. Like he cannot he cannot heal us or he can't make things better. I want to be real sensitive the way I say this because sometimes we will hold on and stay in a period of mourning longer when we have lost a loved one. And I, I do want to be sensitive with that because I realize that there are different stages of grieving. But even in that, we still have to trust God. We still have to trust him to, um, to be there, to be that comforter for us and seeking his face and helping us to heal, to heal and transition because he does not want us to stay in a place of mourning. That is not his best for us. That is not what God would have for us. 
And even today, and even in everything that we're going, that's going on, some of some people are mourning the transition that's going on in the United States. That we are transitioning with a new president coming into power. And so some people are still mourning behind the old president. Again, God is saying, I'm doing a new thing. Whether you are in agreement with who is coming into office, remember, the person who we serve is still in charge and he's still in control no matter who sits in the White House. So again, not mourning where we can't move forward and not trust God, where he's trying to make a way, where he will make a way no matter what. He will, he will have his say. He will, his, his will will be done. Some are mourning life before COVID. Some are mourning and wanting to, I can't wait to get my life back. I can't wait for things to go back to the way they used to be. Newsflash, they're not going back to the way it used to be. Again, God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing in our churches. He's doing a new thing in just in this season. And we have to adjust and move forward. Jeremiah 33 and 3 tells us, call upon me and I will answer you and tell you great and mighty things of which you do not know. Right now, some of us, we need him. We need to call upon him. Show us what is actually going on. Some of you, if you're feeling like you're just in that period of mourning and you don't know how to move forward, I want to pray with you tonight that you are able to break free of that or that God is able to give you comfort, that he's able to heal where you need healing, and he's able to give you that hope to move forward. But we're not going to we're not going to continually mourn over something that God is saying release and trust the new thing that he is doing. Let's go into prayer. Father, I thank you. Lord, we come and we wanna just trust you, Lord, in this hour that the things that we may be trying to hold on to, that you are saying to release, Lord, that we will have the courage and the wisdom to release it, Lord. Lord, I pray right now where there is healing that needs to take place, Lord, where there is healing where someone may have lost a loved one, Lord, and they just can't see how to move forward without that person or that individual in their life, Lord, so that we would have a comforter. Lord, I pray that you are comforting them, but not only comforting them, Lord, that but you will allow them to see a new way, that you are making a way in the wilderness that's in their life right now, Lord, where it's seems so such like a desert Lord as it seems like I just don't want to move forward I don't want to get out the bed I don't want to see a new day but Lord I pray that you will bring new life into that individual right now father that they will see the light father God that they will see and they, they have hope and trust in you again Lord Lord I pray for the person that may be angry with you today Lord Lord I pray that you are are healing their heart, Lord. Lord, I pray for those that may have just um, have the loss of a relationship, Lord, and they just can't see how to move forward. Again, Lord, I thank you that you are restoring unto them a newness, that you are restoring unto them and you are healing the areas that have been hurt. Lord, I pray that as we come to you today, where there is unforgiveness in our hearts today, Lord, Lord, I thank you that forgiveness is coming, Lord, that you are cleaning our hearts out, Lord. Show us, Father God, where we may be holding on to something that may be decades ago, Father, but we can't move forth until we actually forgive. Lord, I thank you that forgiveness is coming, Lord, whether it's forgiving ourselves or forgiving others, Lord. Lord, I thank you that there will be peace in our land as we come and we continually pray for our land, Lord. That we repent what we have not done right as a nation. But Lord, we are praying that as there be a peaceful transition of power this week, Lord. And Lord, we're praying 
for our leaders, Father God, that the ones that you have placed are allowed to be leading this country at this time, Father God. Father, I pray that those that do know you, Lord, that they will be bold in their speaking up of what is right, Father God. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you do not sleep nor do you slumber and you see everything that is going on, Father. Father, I thank you that you are still in control of it all. Father, I thank you that the vaccine that has come up, Father God, I thank you that the vaccine will be safe and effective during this season, Lord. Lord, I thank you that as you are doing a new thing, that you are ready and preparing us to walk into the season of what you are preparing for us in this time and in this hour. It is in your darling son Jesus' name I pray and just continue to thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you once again for joining in on the prayer. I want to also, those of you that's been on the fast, I, I pray that everything has been going well with you, with your fast, and that you continue on. We have one more week until the fast is over. And I would love to hear from you guys as far as anything that God's insight that he's giving you, um, how things are changing. Maybe you're going to be changing your diet and the way you're doing things. I know it's like... I know we're not that many days in, but I've already like started besides the fast, trying to exercise more, just trying to take care of this temple and this body that I have. So have a blessed week. Bye.